Hey everybody, it's Mike and Kelly. Hope everybody's doing great. Today's episode five of Listing Your Home with Mike and Kelly. Um, so last, let's recap, we did like coming out, telling you what we're gonna do, measuring your home, proper pricing, the listing presentation, and we talked about showings, so, you know. So what to expect when your when offers start coming in? In our market right now, we are still seeing multiple offers. So sometimes we like to put a deadline. So everybody that has viewed the home has an opportunity to put the offer in. Yeah, and I'll just caveat that with um, not all cases do we expect multiple offers like right away. Um, properly priced, good condition, lo good location, um, immaculate home, there's no reason we shouldn't expect multiple offers pretty soon. But right now in October of 2021, uh, we're coming out of and still in um, a strong, strong seller's market. And this is still why you're always gonna see a theme, why positioning is so important when listing your home. Um, but let's get past all that and say, all right, we got an offer or a couple coming in, what happens next? So we are going to take whatever offers we have, one, two, 10, whatever it may be, and we're going to explain the terms to you, meaning the offer price, you know, some may give just the list price, which is okay. You know, that's a great offer still. Yeah. Um, the terms as in the due diligence fees and earnest money fees, the closing date, because time could matter, be one of the biggest factors for you. Yeah. Um, I had two people that were flexible on their um, time in one multiple offer situations because of that. Yeah, and we have so many different terms that can be important to mm -hmm. different buyers and sellers. You know, a lot of time it's the bottom line net amount. Sometimes it's the closing date. Sometimes it's incentives such as closing costs and home warranties and such. And all this ebbs and flows with the ebb, ebbs and flows of the market. So what we're gonna do is package one or 10 offers. We're gonna package those for you and we're gonna summarize. Mm -hmm. In North Carolina, we have to submit all offers to our sellers. So even if it's a $20,000 below asking price that somebody's taking a shot in the dark, we're still gonna present it to you because that's our ethical obligation and one of our rules. So um, we're gonna go through those and we're gonna package those. One great tool that we're gonna use is a net sheet. It's called a seller estimated net sheet where we're gonna take all the terms and costs um, and time of the offer and we're gonna basically do a summary sheet for you that gives you a net bottom line. Now we did do an original one when we met with you at the listing appointment that was like best case, worst case scenario type of deal. This is based on each offer that has come in so that you can see the bottom line. Um, and always, you know, always expect repairs. Buyers want to make sure that they are getting something. It's like a deal for them. Um, and repairs do come up. We had a house that was built in 2014 and we had two, three things that came up and um, we weren't, you know, we weren't expecting even though we are both agents yeah. and and it does come and, and sometimes it's a cheap fix and sometimes it's, it's a deal breaker for some yeah. of these buyers. We got surprised with the septic tank yeah. issue. So we're gonna lay all those down to you either digitally, um, if you're not local or if that's your preference, but we like to come to you and present them all to you. Um, and a lot of them have, factors that go beyond just real estate rules and law um, you know some of them are the kind of loan they're using here in the greater Fayetteville area it's well known that we are quite a VA market um, but in the end of the day only 42 percent of our loans are actually VA loans mm -hmm. so sometimes all terms the same you may have a conventional loan offer and a VA loan offer and we'll talk about the differences in those and how they can benefit you and how they may not um, with appraisals and um, such things like that. So it's a lot to go through um, and it's an exciting time. The showings have happened. You've got a lot of offers on the table. Mike and Kelly call you up and say, hey, look, we got to go over these offers. Um, like Kelly said, we may put a time frame and, and, and squeeze as many out that we can. Um, sometimes it's, hey, I got a great offer right off of the bat. There's no reason. Um, to chase the purple dragon, as they say, and hunt for an even better offer. Um, and we're, we'll talk to you about all those. We'll have heart to heart sometimes, and we'll say, hey, look, I think we can get more. I think we need more time on the market. Or let's say that some time has gone by that we've been marketing the home, and we get an offer below asking price, even though we're in this, 
historic housing market, it may be your best interest to go ahead and take the first one. So there's a lot to it. Um, I wish that we could talk about it all in a video, but we'd probably go on for 45 minutes if we talked about all the different aspects of all the different offers you can get. And I've, I've been um, sat with real estate agents in, in my management career um, with 30 and 40 offers and sifting through them. It's a very uh, important part of the process that we take seriously. Um, and there's factors like due diligence. I mean, um, how much how much skin that the buyer is willing to put in the game. There's outside factors like who's the mortgage company um, and, and, and things like that. We're going to present and talk with you so you can make a good decision. And a lot have come up like in in past years, there was these things called buyer love letters. We don't encourage those anymore due to fair housing, um, the Fair Housing yeah. Act. Um, we want everybody to have a fair um, chance of putting in the best offer they can and hopefully you as the seller accepting their offer. So um, we don't encourage those. Some people may still want to try to put those love letters in there. Um, but again, those are one of those things that we're going to have to yeah. discourage just so we are not crossing any ethical lines and things yeah, like that. Some states have actually gone and, and um, prohibited those mm -hmm. and our state currently hasn't taken an actual position on it other than it's starting to get kind of discouraged for federal fair housing purposes. Yeah. Um, you know, and, you know, pictures and, and, and things like that. But sometimes I remember before we were in real estate and she purchased a home and, and wrote a love letter. And no, um, I met the seller. Yeah, it was for right. our second yeah. showing. I wasn't sure I wanted to buy the house. And I happened, we happened to do our second showing. Um, I was on the fence. I was really nervous. <laughs> and we take that into consideration when you're yeah. selling or buying. And the seller met me and she said, and at that time I was a teacher and she said, I want that teacher to have it, which yeah. just was perfect for us because I was a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> just starting out here in North Carolina. Yeah. So um, that's about it for today. We just wanted to talk about what to expect for the offer process, um, some logistics of it. Uh, we try to hold back and present multiple at a time mm -hmm. if there's a lot coming in. Um, if it's one and then maybe tomorrow, uh, we'll probably get them to you as we receive them. Uh, but we will also professionally package them. We're not just going to forward you an offer and say, hey, tell us what you think. We're going to, you know, some, some folks that has happened, <laughs> yeah, you know, so we're going to educate you. And that's one of the big things about the whole real estate process that we take very seriously is the education piece mm -hmm. of it. Um, you know, you could have bought and sold multiple houses through a military career, for example, uh, but every real estate transaction is different and every real estate transaction carries a certain amount of risk for both parties. Um, and that's a part of what we look at is how much risk is involved for the buyer versus how much is risk for the seller. And it, and it depends on who you represent as a real estate agent um, and your negotiation skills of how you mitigate that risk or not. So tell them how to get a hold of us, Kelly. So give us a call at 910-987-9146 or 910-476-6801. We'd love to help you, um, whether it's just answering questions or, you know, hopefully maybe if you're thinking about selling or buying. Yeah, we want to walk you through the process. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. And uh, we always want to do the right thing for people at the end of the day and help them with their housing needs. So take care.